Hi, I'm Teresa Hansen. I'm Vice President of Global Content for Clarion Energy. I'm here at Distributech 2020 in San Antonio. I'm with Julia Hamm, who is the CEO of the Smart Electric Power Alliance. She was also one of our luminary speakers today in our Decarbonizing the Grid Hub. Julia, welcome. Thank you for having me. Sure. Um, I know that SEPA has four things that they're focusing on in 2020. Do you want to talk a little bit about those four things? Yeah, sure. Let me actually start, before I get to the four focus areas, okay. let me start with the big picture. Okay, perfect. So for SEPA, our vision is a carbon-free energy system by 2050. And obviously that is a vision that we don't hold just ourselves. Right. Many others in this industry increasingly are beginning to really uh, come together in, in believing in that common vision. Nice. So the work that SEPA is doing to help us move towards this carbon-free energy system is focused on getting us to a cleaner, cleaner and more modern grid. And we believe to do that, we need to focus on these four prior, okay. priority areas, which we're calling the SEPA pathways. And those are utility business models, regulatory innovation, grid integration, and transportation electrification. Okay, great. So do you want to talk just a little bit about each one of those and what kind of what your vision is for yeah, that? Yeah, of course. So with utility business models, we believe that utilities are need to be at the center of this transformation. Uh, we could probably get there eventually without utilities, but it would take us a lot longer and most likely cost a lot more than if we make sure that utilities are really leading, helping to lead in uh, this this transition that's underway. So, but but utilities, while they are going to remain to be integral to this, it's not going to be the status quo, right? We have to find ways, new ways for utilities to. to uh, structure their business and essentially earn revenue um, that allow them to have a sustainable business that in, and continues to provide safe, affordable, reliable electricity, uh, but in different ways than they've done it in the past. So obviously there's there's a lot, we could talk for hours about right, the, the right. utility business model evolving, but that, that's sort of at the core of what we're focused on there okay. and how they need to work more with both partners, vendor partners, but also customers in these new business models. That closely aligns with the regulatory innovation piece of the conversation. Uh, in our industry is changing at a faster and faster pace, and state regulatory processes, practices, and structures were set up decades, and in many cases, right. even a century ago, when things were much simpler in our industry. Exactly. And so we have to see an evolution, just like we need to see an evolution to the utility business model, we need to see an evolution to the way that, um, again, that state regulation the processes, practices, and structures that sort of dictate that regulation. Then moving into grid integration, there are lots of components to that, right? But as we move towards a combination of clean, large-scale generating facilities, carbon-free energy uh, solutions, in combination with more distributed energy resources, it changes how we have to go about planning and operating the grid. Right. So how do we remove the friction points associated with integrating all of these resources collectively and also in a, in a way in which it's no longer just the utility as the decision maker, but we now have not only solution providers making decisions about things happening on the grid with utilities, but also now customers. So again, it increases the complexity, increases the number of friction points. So we're focused on identifying and, and, and helping to reduce those friction points. Then on the fourth pathway with transportation electrification, okay. we believe this is a huge opportunity for our industry, uh, not only in terms of helping to uh, ha generate new load for utilities, but more importantly, to be able to use fleets of EVs as they get deployed as distribution system assets. And really using the cars as, you know, they're really batteries on wheels. Right, energy and, storage. Yeah, yeah, so essentially how can we use the fleet of electric vehicles that are plugging into the grid um, in order to help us um, manage the system that ultimately allows us to have more clean energy integrated into the system. Okay, well I know that you guys had a meeting yesterday here at Distributech on Monday. Um, so can you talk a little bit about kind of why you're at Distributech and what kind of the reaction that you're getting to, to these four um, pathways? Is yeah, a absolutely. So SEPA is, is a unique organization, right? So we are an association, but we're not a typical trade association. We don't do any advocacy or lobbying. Mm -hmm. We are focused on serving as a neutral uh, 
facilitator and convening mm -hmm. body platform for the entire industry. So our members include almost 750 electric utilities. Okay. So just about every IOU and hundreds of municipal utilities and hundreds of rural co-ops mm -hmm. are all members. But we also have more than 70% of the public utility commissions that are members. And we have hundreds of technology providers, be it product manufacturers, uh, project developers, software providers, all okay. working in collaboration. So SEPA is at Distributech because so much of our audience this is gathered here right. every, every, you know, this week, every year. So Distributech is a very important venue for us to reach the people who are so critical to the work we're doing, uh, you know, across all four pathways. But I think the one, and you know, we're hearing that everyone, you know, every time we talk about the four pathways, everyone's like, oh my gosh, those are the, those are the four issues that you know that we really right. that keep us up at night. Uh, but just over the past 24 hours, I think the two which we're hearing the most conversation around with the audience here is the grid integration pathway right. and the sense. transportation electrification pathway. Okay, that makes sense. Well, CPA has been a great partner for us, so we're so glad that you're here. We're happy to have you, and thanks for joining me. Yep, thank you again.